Hey everybody, welcome to Kimmel's Irish Pub. Time for another movie review, tonight's movie, Countdown. Um, I wasn't really too familiar with it, but evidently it's a nurse downloads an app onto her phone, which will predict the time that you're going to die, day and time, and then it starts counting down. And so she has this time to try and save her life, but she knows when she's going to die. I'm sure other people download it and bad things happen to them, so um, my wife had seen the previews of it and said it was, she was scared, you know, like she was creeped out by it, so... Of course, I am not going to watch it, <laughs> um, but uh, IMDb has it at a 5.5. I don't really recognize anybody, um, any of the cast. Uh, Peter Ficinelli is one person I recognize, but other than that, I don't know anybody. So, let me get into it, figure out what it's about. I'm sure there's not much more to tell, um, but I'll let you know if it's any good. 5.5, low expectation, so let's hope it's pretty good. I think it's an hour and 30 minutes, but I'll start watching it, and I'll let you know what I think. So, stick around. I'll be back. Hey everybody, I want to do a quick check in here. We're watching Countdown, and we're at the 52 minute 21 second mark. Counting down to the end of the movie. <laughs> um, anyway, so it is kind of what it said. Um, they download an app, and, and um, you know the app tells them when they're going to die. And of course, as they get closer, things start to happen, which scare them a little bit, and then ultimately, they die. Um, now, so, it's uh, not a spoiler alert. I mean, I shouldn't say that. So. When I first thought of this, and maybe you did too, when I first saw the plot line, I thought to myself, it's like Final Destination, right? They can't escape death, and you know, and they always did the crazy things in Final Destination. Slightly different. This is more, you know, scarier. I think, in a sense, like there's there's some some images that they see that's gonna scare you, maybe a little bit jumping, um, as well. So there's more instead of like just this. It's still mythical, but. You know what I mean? Something that you don't see happening. I don't know. It's hard to it's hard to explain without spoiling it too much for you. But it's not. How about this? It's not like usually a random act. Um, that's what's going on here. So it's like some some thing is making this happen. If you know what I mean. So, um, but it is jumpy. There are some scary parts. Uh, the girl in it. Um, I didn't catch her name, but I recognized her. And if you ever watched the show You on uh, Netflix. Her name is Elizabeth Dean Lael. Sorry, Elizabeth Lael. She was you. She was a love interest in season one of that. So she's in this. Uh, she's the nurse who downloads the app at that point. So um, so we're seeing what's happening there as they are trying to figure out what they're going to do um, with their time just ticking down. So it is pretty interesting. I like it. I, I thought it was going to be worse because the ratings were so low and kind of... You know, maybe kind of been done with Final Destination, but it's 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 pretty good because it's not just you know a modern day kind of countdown thing. It's um it's also has that little scare to it. So all right, that's it. I'm gonna get back into it a little bit more. Hopefully that was helpful. But the plot is what it said it is. But I elaborated a little bit more, and I'm gonna get back into it. And then I'll see what I think at the final credits and try not to spoil it for you. So stick around. I'll be back. Hey everybody, we're at the credits of Countdown, which is now just counting down, so we're going to see what happens here uh, when the credits finish. Hopefully nothing bad. But anyway, so it's it's one of those movies where um, we've seen it in a sense before because they're trying to create new and creative ways using modern modern technology, modern modern themes to scare us and kill us. Um, essentially, Happy Death Day to You is an example of that. Unfriend is an example of that. Unfriend Dark Web is another example. I even go with Truth or Dare, The Escape Room. You know what I mean? They're all very similar in a sense that uh, that's what this movie's about. So trying to figure out a new way, again, to, to scare us and, and get in our heads a little bit. And uh, this has a phone app in it. So... Um, the Ring was like the VCR version of this, <laughs> if you ever seen The Ring. So if you've seen all of those and you think they're fun and interesting and creative, I think you'd really like this. I don't think, I'm not maybe really like this, but I mean, I thought I, I liked it for what it was. I knew, you know, it's one of these kinds of movies 
and that uh, but uh, in this one and in some of the other ones but in this one I did see there's some scary images um, that, like I said and, and some jump scenes so um, and I thought I thought it was interesting in, in what they did in the way that they did it you know you gotta applaud people trying to instead of rewriting and remaking everything they're trying to come up with new stuff and again they're making it they're modernizing it so again I thought it was okay uh, probably six for me uh, you know so but you have to be into those types of movies I'm trying to think if it was there's nothing else really to say about it. I don't want to go into too much detail in, in what happens. Um, you know, the endings are the endings that you see. Do I think there should be a countdown too? Probably not. I think we're good. I think that one will work. And we don't need to make another. Um, not like Happy Death Day to you. Two or whatever that one was. That You know, you don't, we don't need another one of this one. So, that's okay. And the credits are over, so it counted down. I'm still here. Hopefully you're still here. And if you are, let me know what you thought of the movie. Drop in some comments. I'd love to hear from you. Um, but it's a six for me, and that's all I got. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel, and tell all your friends. Thanks for tuning in. Kimmel's Irish Pub. Three. Two.